Hi everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. Today, you may have noticed, I am at the stove and I'm going to be showing you a, a zucchini pasta recipe. It's not your typical um, primavera or um, Italian marinara uh, pasta sauce. This is going to be a uh, fire roasted chipotle flavored kind of a spicy with a Mexican kind of taste to it uh, made with spinach and mushrooms. It's very quick and easy and it tastes really good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what I have here and the recipe. Now, first of all, we're gonna need zucchini noodles. And this is two large zucchinis that I spiralized. And I have them sitting on a paper towel um, because zucchinis are very water rich. And once you peel them and slice into them, they start to release their water. And I don't want the water to dilute my sauce in any way. So that's why I have them soaking. And to make my noodles, I used this little tool right here called a vegetti. You can get these at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it costs, but I believe it was under $20. And I have this one, and then I have the large, long, white one as well. But I've been using this one lately because, just because of the ease, and I guess I um, was getting a little lazy. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um... And all you do is after you peel the zucchini or whatever vegetable you want to spiralize, carrots, cucumbers, whatever, you just decide if you want to use the large side or the smaller side. Now the larger side gives you noodles sort of like um, linguine, they're a little flatter. The smaller side is a little bit like um, uh, spaghetti. So you just, you know, put the veggie in there and this holds it in place and then you just twist it. So this is what I used for my zucchini noodles or zoodles as some people call them. And for the recipe, what I have here is, this is a 28 ounce can of organic fire roasted tomatoes. And this is also, I like this brand because this is packaged in, let me see where it is on the label. You know, it's here somewhere. Yes, there it is. BPA free. So that's why I use this particular brand. And we're going to be using the liquid as well as the uh, tomatoes. I have here two cups of spinach chopped. Fresh baby spinach, but you can use any spinach, I'm sure. Four button mushrooms, thinly sliced. Four cloves of garlic, minced. And I'm going to be using pink Himalayan sea salt. And the spices I'm going to be using, I have here are Smoked paprika, chipotle chili, and a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. And I am going to be sautéing my uh, veggies in a little, a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons or so, and. I like using grapeseed oil. It holds up to high heat better than olive oil. And to me, it tastes a little bit better than olive oil. In my own opinion, if you want to use olive oil, you know, go for it. But I prefer grapeseed oil. So, all right. So to get started, I need to heat up my pan here. Okay. And on medium high heat and I guess I'm going to pour in about two tablespoons or so, tablespoon, two tablespoons of um, oil here. I 
Now if you have a porcelain pan, you can definitely uh, get away with just using vegetable stock to saute your, your vegetables in, but I'm going to be using a, a little bit of oil. I don't use oil in my food that often, and I don't, I personally don't believe that using oils is a bad thing as long as you don't overdo it and do it every day. You know, a couple of tablespoons here and there, in my opinion, again, um, aren't really detrimental to you. And with the sauce, I'm not going to be eating all of the sauce at one time anyway, so I won't be getting all of the two tablespoons of oil when I uh, eat my serving of the dish that I'm preparing. Okay, you just want to make sure the oil is well distributed in your pan. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saute the, the garlic. And when I see that the garlic is just starting to brown, I'm going to put in my mushrooms. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of the red pepper flakes. Just a little, not a lot. Okay, once the mushrooms are softened and they kind of look like that, then I'm going to throw in my spinach and wilt that down. And once I have my spinach bolted down a little bit, as you can see there, and I'm going to pour it in the tomatoes. Tomatoes all in there. Give that a stir. Turn down the heat to low medium. And just let this simmer a little bit.
And now I'm going to be adding in my smoked paprika. And my chipotle chili powder. As much or as little as you like. I'm also going to add in a little bit of the pink Himalayan sea salt now. And some cracked black pepper, just a little bit. in there. Now we're just going to wait for the sauce to come back up to a simmer. Let it simmer for about five minutes or so and give the sauce a chance to develop the flavors of the spices that I add it in here and then we'll give it a taste. Okay, now I have let this reduce down and simmer for about 10 minutes. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a little taste test. Mmm, nice and spicy. Mmm, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Nice and spicy flavor, just needs a little bit more salt. So. Go ahead and mix up a little bit more salt in here. Now if you don't want your sauce to be this reduced, of course you do not have to let it reduce down. And it'd be a little more liquid. It won't be so uh, thick as this. Definitely your preference. I'm going to go ahead and taste this again. Mm. Now it's perfect. Now. Once the sauce is done, you can do one of two things. You can either add the noodles to the sauce or the sauce to the noodles. Now, I want my noodles to be firm and not cooked. Sort of like al dente pasta. So, I'm going to put the sauce over my noodles. Just going to remove the paper towel that these have been sitting on. And turn the burner off. It's going to spoon this over the pasta.
to go ahead and mix this all in together and then we'll go ahead and give it a final taste. All right, I am back with my plate of pasta. Doesn't it look delicious? We'll go ahead and give this a final taste here. Mmm. Pouring the hot sauce over the zucchini noodles warms them up, but it doesn't cook them to where they lose their firmness. Now, of course, you can cook them if you like, but I like my um, zucchini noodles firm. And when I want to, if there's any leftovers, of course, um, when I want to warm it up, I just warm it up gently. And so that the uh, zucchini won't lose its firmness and won't let it, um, you know, uh, boil or anything to cook it further. But I think I need to have another bite of this. It's really good and spicy. I love the flavor of fire roasted tomatoes and uh, chipotle um, pepper. Mmm. It's really good. Plus you have a little meatiness with the mushrooms and you're also getting some greens with the spinach. A really nice combination. So there you have it. My chipotle pepper seasoned fire roasted tomato sauce with zucchini pasta. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new recipes each week. Until next time, bye.